Alex Bejeda explains why he is not interested in fighting Hamzat Chamaev. On his YouTube channel, Alex said, So actually, everything started after their diss on your fight when I became the middleweight champion. It was a war with a diss on you. I was injured after the fight, and Chamaev directly called me out, wanted to fight against me, take my belt, and whatever. I said, Okay, that's fine. Let's fight at light heavyweight. He denied. He didn't want to fight me at light heavyweight, and afterwards, now I'm the champ at light heavyweight and he calls me out at light heavyweight. So this only shows that these type of fighters are trying to run behind the hype and the fame of the champion, and it doesn't make sense. Now I have to do what? Call him out at heavyweight or what? So it doesn't make sense. Hamzat recently called out Alex. He posted this on X. He wrote, at Dana White, let me finish him. Dana White announced another fight last night. What's up guys, this crazy business. I have another announcement for you. So Khalil Roundtree was supposed to fight uh, Azamat Mirzakhanov on December 2nd, right here in Austin, Texas. Azamat has pneumonia, so he's out. So stepping up is number eight ranked Anthony Smith, who will now take on number 11th ranked Khalil Roundtree at light heavyweight in the new co-main event uh, on December 9th at the Apex. Both of these guys have serious striking power and they bring it every single time. This fight's gonna be an absolute war. So have a great day. Michael Bisping and Anthony Smith give their takes on Patty Pimblett's recent comments on MMA fans. Ever since Patty's fight against Jared Gordon, MMA fans have been giving him a ton of backlash. Patty called MMA fans fickle. Well, fans are fickle in mixed that's martial how, arts. That's how it works. You weren't complaining about the love after the first three. Oh, good take. I mean, that's that's how it is. The, it's, it is. That's why you can't get so attached to what everyone thinks about you. Is that you can't believe you're as great as they say you are, and you, you're not as bad as they say you are. You gotta, you well, gotta what's find the middle. What's the expression in combat sports? Mm, you're only sure. as good as your last fight. Exactly. Because exactly. that's what people remember. That's what drives the narrative. Because they are fickle, and it's what have you done for me lately? And mm -hmm. in that Garrett Gordon fight, it is what it is. We've talked about that. We've done it to death. Yeah. But he's right. If he comes back and he can smoke Tony Ferguson, I don't think it would be quite the same as taking on Tony in his prime. We know that, and we've talked about this at length. But he has got a point. But that was a fantastic point that what you said right there. Hold on a minute. You weren't complaining when they were all... What's the right, word? When they were just... When they were riding your nutsack. Riding your nutsack. Yeah. I mean, I mean he wasn't... I mean, he wasn't... He wasn't complaining. And listen, this isn't towards Patty. This is kind of towards everyone. But Patty wasn't complaining about all the love when he was getting a million dollar deal from Barstool. He didn't stop and say, whoa, 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 whoa. You're only slow being like this because lot. I, yeah, slow down. You're only being like this because I, I won my last couple fights. If I lose, people are going to be mean to me. So give me less money. Mm. Like that's so You, you got to take the good with the bad. Today, we have some more drama regarding Ian Gary. Last night, Sean Strickland posted this to his Instagram, which Ian's wife actually left a comment on. Guys, I never talk about anybody's spouses, but this shit ain't right. It ain't right. I gotta talk about it. Ian Gary, I remember when I met you, dude. It was in New York. You were this fine girl. She had the little nipple coverings. We all seen it, right? Everybody seen it. But I remember thinking to myself, there ain't something right about that girl. There's something about that woman that ain't right. The way she walked, the way she looked, the way she talked, I knew it. But now I'm finding out you're 26, she's 40. The ex husband lives with you. You took the last name. Motherfucker wrote a book on how to be a wag. I didn't know what a wag was until now, dude. This sh ain't right, dude. She's a succubus. You gotta run away, bro. Hot girls are a dime a dozen. We'll get you one. We'll get you ring girls. We'll get you two at the same time, bro. You gotta pull the ripcord, man. It ain't f***ing right, my friend. You gotta pull that f***ing ripcord. I'm here for you. They've been making news here for you. Do the right things, Ian Gary. F***ing pull that Record. Ian's wife commented, Sean, I've only heard the first few lines and I've switched it off. You've already spread three total lies. I've sent you a DM trying to contact you so you know you're causing a snowball effect now on a lie that's causing a serious volume of harassment towards me. Have all the opinion you wish. You can't make up stories and I'm surprised you believe everything you read, but I'm shocked you're posting this without understanding the consequence. Sean then released DMs between him and Ian Gary. Ian said, and if you choose to continue to spread it, knowing from the source it's not true, then you're partaking in harassment and defamation of character. Smart move would be to take it down. Sean replied, I'm not a lawyer, I'm just a guy who's trying to help a c**k. Sue me? Get in line, motherfucker. There are a few in front of you. I would have respected you more if you threatened violence against me, but I guess it makes sense. Ian replied, Sean, what you're doing is spreading hate, lies, and harassment. I'm helping you here, giving you a heads up.
After releasing these DMs, Sean posted another video to his Instagram. In the caption, he said, oh no, LOL bro, this ain't my doing. I didn't pick her B-Day. Blame Jesus, not me. Y'all will not believe what just happened. So I'm a homie, right? And I send you a Gary message. And I'm like, bro, hey, here's the thing, man. This for chicks, dude. I know you're going through some right now. I know that you got preyed upon. I know all this bro, and I'm here for you. Just give me a call if you need me. And this mother he says, I'm gonna sue you if you don't delete that. You're gonna sue me, mother. He said that I was lying. Mother, I ain't lying. You are 26. She is 40. She wrote a book on how to be old and be with a young athlete. I ain't lying, bro. This is factual. And Ian Gary, I don't give a about being sued. You think I give a about that? You want me to respect you. You say that I'm gonna go the Bass Pro Shop, wherever the fuck you go, I'm gonna go buy a nine, I'm gonna handle this like a man. I would have respected that. I don't fucking respect that. But hey, I I fucking expect nothing else from a man like you. Ian's wife Layla released a video message response to her Instagram story. Here's what she had to say. Forcing myself to make a story today because otherwise I will throw my phone out of the fucking window and then just go live on an island off the northeast coast of Brazil and never speak to anyone ever again. That's an option and I kind of want to do it, but I'm going to force myself to not be bullied out of a space that I literally make money from and keep doing this. So firstly, thank you to the people who have sent the most beautiful voice notes, messages, photos, phone calls, emails, everything. Thank you. Um, I've not seen everything. <laughs> and some of you are like, oh, I saw what so-and-so said here. And I was like, oh. And that like, even the beautiful message of I've seen this, I hope you're okay, or I've seen this, don't like let them get to you. Don't tell me what you saw and when you saw it. Cause then I'm like, oh wait, that, there's another one. There's another one, there's another one. And it's snowballing. I'd rather not know. I'd rather not know. And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. These comments are in reference to Ian Gary. The first one's from Sinister49. It says, Ian Gary and his wife are suing MMA guru makes him the softest UFC fighter in history. The second one's from Ethan Green. It says, all I want for Christmas is for Ian to be humbled. And the final one's from Thompson Hunter 51. It says, as promising as Ian Gary is looking to be, the way he has been carrying himself since the light has been on him is turning a lot of potential support away from him. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.